I wanted to put a video together for you guys today because I didn't put one up yesterday, but so much has been going on. It has just been absolutely crazy. I'm going to discuss with you a couple things. I'm going to give you guys an update because a lot of people have been asking about this little gym that I built for Billy and I and my other son, Noah. He's been out here working out a lot. Um, this little gym that we put together here in the garage, what I did and how I did it, everyone's been asked for an update. I'm going to cover the Toro grandstand and I'm going to cover the dually. As many of you know, I've been having a lot of issues with that. And then I'm going to tell you a story about a guy in my area that got busted doing landscaping. <laughs> Okay, to start with, there has been so many issues with this dually. About two and a half weeks ago, I was driving down the road when I was doing the um, uh, plow repair damage, or plow damage repair, that, uh, and I made a video, and I told you guys in that video what had happened with the dually. I was coming down the road, I stepped on the gas, and it was just like bogging right down, dying right out. That was it, no backfire, no nothing. And it was just running like crap. It wouldn't go anywhere. Every time I hit the gas, it would like bog right down like it was going to die again. And I got a couple miles on the side of the road. I got back home and then I went and got a fuel filter, replaced it. And the thing has run great for the last two weeks. And then uh, Billy and I went out mowing all day with it Monday. And then Tuesday morning, we went out and started mowing with it. And uh, we were on our way to the second property and it just started bogging down again. It was backfiring like crazy, puffing white smoke. There was just, it was just no to it at all so um, I was right around the corner from Ryan's I dropped my trailer in his driveway put the truck right there and then I uh, he ran me home to get the other truck and we finished our mowing for the day so that brings us into Wednesday yesterday um, I went down there because just as I pulled into his driveway that day Tuesday when it broke down the check engine light come on so I went down there to run the code on it to see what it is um, and the check engine light was out I started up it ran perfectly fine I shut it off um, so I called a buddy of mine that has a shop local here. Um, he's been in business forever and I said, I know you've dealt with a lot of these old trucks. What would you think? I don't have time to be screwing around. I continue to run diagnostics on it all day. What would you think? And he said, well, right off the bat, I'll tell you, if it puffed white smoke like that and it was backfiring, it's running lean. So he goes, since you had that problem with the fuel filter, it probably overworked the fuel pump when it was clogged up trying to push fuel through it or pull fuel through it. So my guess would be your fuel pump's going out intermittent. So Ryan and I changed the fuel pump on it and it definitely ran better, but it wasn't running that good at all. I had the stuff to do a tune up. It's been about three years since I've done plugs and wires, cap and rotor on that thing. So we did all that and then come to find out the ignition coil was kind of like flopping in there. So we replaced that too. Um, and then we started up and it ran great, nice, perfectly smooth, wrap it up, everything perfectly smooth. As soon as I put it into gear, reverse or drive, it would bog down and then it would just stall right out. And that was the problem I kept having. So um, we pulled a little bit of fuel out of the tank and we smelled it. Ryan's like, this fuel doesn't smell right to me at all. And it didn't to me either. And uh, every time the truck would stall out, it'd push like almost a pint of water out the tailpipe. It was just pushing water out like crazy. He's like, you got bad fuel, man. We need to get this out of here. So we siphoned 20, 22 gallons of fuel out of that tank. And then uh, we poured one of Ryan's five gallon cans in. He got gas at a different place when he filled his can and it started to run a little bit better but it was still kind of hesitant whenever I put it in the gear it bogged down but it wouldn't stall out so we drove it into town and to a different gas station than where I had filled it up at filled it up with um, with high test um, and with ultra fuel and then we ran it all around I got up like 75 up and down a bunch of roads and it was running really good nice and smooth it was a little hesitant it just didn't seem like it had the power that it always had. So um, we drove it around a bunch more and it seemed to be getting better and better the more we drove it. Um, so then we brought it back home to my house here last night and for the next few days I'm just going to keep towing the trailer with the GMC and I'm just going to keep driving the dually everywhere else and try to get a full tank of that fresh fuel burnt through it and hopefully it helps it out. So that's where we're at with that. So let's discuss the Toro, Toro Grandstand. I had issues with that where I had the hydro line was leaking. Turns out I had two rips in the hydro line. I had a four foot coil of high pressure fuel line, uh, same diameter, so I cut it out, put a new piece in. That solved the hydro leak. Then I had the issue where it was just going slow and it wouldn't, uh, it just wouldn't go any faster. I figured the controls out on that and how to adjust it, so now it's definitely a lot faster. The thing is cutting great. It is cutting really, really well. So, um, I, 
I, I love the way it cuts. It's fanning out grass great, and it also is cutting through wet grass really good, and it's not packing in the deck, and there's a reason behind that. So I'm gonna show you a clip right here of what Ryan and I did to our mowers this year, and this is why it's not clumping, so watch this. Okay, so Roscoe found this stuff that is like an undercoating that you put on the bottom of mower decks, and it's supposed to keep any grass from sticking. So we've heard about millions of different kinds and spraying Pam on there and all this other crap, but we want something that would last longer than just a couple of uses. So uh, he found this stuff, and they claim it works really good. So he painted the bottom of the Ferris with it. He did two coats on it, and he did all that mowing you saw in the video the other day, um, mowing through all that heavy, thick, wet grass, and we looked under the deck afterwards, and there wasn't one blade of grass stuck under there. It literally didn't didn't stick anywhere, not even to the spindles, nothing. So we decided today that we're going to do the two mowers I showed you guys that I'm starting off the season with. They're going to be my main two mowers for running uh, unless something changes. So I decided that we're going to do them. So we cleaned the bottom of the decks with Purple Power, hosed them, scrubbed them down, and I just put the first coat on both decks. So we're going to see how well it works, but let me show you what it is. So this is the stuff. I wish I could tell you exactly what it is, but there's sealer on half of the words. Easy but uh, slick. what is it called? Easy slick. It's called Easy Slick, and it's industrial coating. So that's what it looks like, and I'll show you. I already put one coat on the bottom of the 56 deck for the Walker B. So I have that coated down, and I'm going to let it dry, and I'm going to put another coat on it. He did two coats on the bottom of his and uh it doesn't rub off with your finger so it's kind of like a graphite paint so it makes it really slick under there and i did a coat i don't know if you can see but i did a coat on the bottom of this turbo force deck now the turbo force deck was my biggest thing i really wanted to coat on because the guy didn't take care of this machine so he didn't scrape the decks out as often as he should and you can tell that because when you leave a lot of grass under there and you don't keep them scraped out uh, at least every couple days it starts to destroy the bottom of the deck and there is a lot of pitting under that deck it's not bad it's not rotted out nothing like that the deck is still solid and in really good shape but there's a lot of pitting under there so um i wanted something under there because i know how good this turbo force deck works but with that pitting just tells me it's going to collect a lot of grass. So I wanted something slicker under there instead of just painting it. I figured I'd try this stuff out because I saw how good it works on his mower. So I got one coat under there now, and I'm going to put a second coat under there as soon as this dries, and hopefully it does the job. But on the Walker B, that deck is still nice and smooth, so I know it'll work really well on there. My biggest thing is onion grass. If any of you guys cut onion grass, you know all this stuff just clumps up. It sticks to everything. It's like glue. It's nasty stuff. So... Ryan and I are both really excited to see how well it's going to do on onion grass. So that has made a huge difference so far this year mowing that wet thick grass. We haven't gotten into the nasty stuff yet because that's coming, you know, after you do the first cut and everything that really inspires grass to grow. So that'll be coming like the second week of cuts. And we weren't able to cut yesterday because it poured all night Tuesday night. Everything was too wet to cut yesterday. And then I got stuck working on the dually all day. Uh, the, it rained all night last night. And then this morning it was snowing. The ground was white everywhere. Um, just a thin layer of white snow. And now it's all practically gone again, but everything's soaked. So I'm not going to be cutting today either. And tomorrow's supposed to rain all day. So I got Monday and Tuesday's list done. And for my first week of cuts, and it looks like I'll be starting back up next Monday the way things are going now. But the only other issue that I have with that Toro is the grass catcher, the accelerator. When I tried it out, when I took it from the right and I put it on the Toro, it went on there perfectly fine. But the... Uh, when I put the quick shoot on the way I mount, I must have put it in the way. So now the one time I had to use the grass catcher, it wouldn't go on. It turns out just the one bracket on the back of the accelerator was hitting the quick shoot. So what I did is instead of changing the deck or cutting the deck, I just shaved a little bit off the accelerator, which is that right there. That tiny little piece is all I had to cut off. So I shaved that off the bracket of the accelerator. Now it fits on there perfectly fine. So that's good to go. Um, so as far as the, the dually goes, I, I think it's all right, but we're gonna find out in time. And the Toro Grandstand is ready to hit the ground running. So I'm excited about that. 
So I'll cover just briefly the gym, okay? This is the pulley system that I'd set up. I showed everybody, I ordered one of these D-ring handles. I ordered the rope. And this here is the bar that I had made and I welded that hook on there to be able to hook on right there to change the handle so I have that bar. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up putting one on this longer bar so that you can do lat pull downs. I ordered this thick mat, it's a landscaping mat so that you don't have to kneel on the concrete, you can kneel on that when you, when you do it. And I have this cable coming down to this piece of pipe with a flat plate I welded on the bottom and we have these weight plates for it. But I did go to a buddy of mine, two friends actually, and they gave me a bunch of these old truck rotors. And they work really well for going on there because it has a big flat plate, but I want to be able to use them on this bar that I made out of, it was all made out of gas line. So I wanted to use them on here. I had to order a set of these old school clips and uh, those come in the other day. So what I did to be able to put these on here is I welded plates over the big holes and then I drilled the centers out. So it looks like this. So the plates welded on the other side and I drilled uh, one inch holes for this one inch bar to go on there. So now I have that as well. And then I took one inch gas line and I used the floor anchors there and I used leg bolts to hold it up into this beam and made a 48 inch pull up bar. So that's the gym right now. That's everything that we're using. And we're able to do so much stuff from curls to bench press. Uh, my neighbor gave me this bench for free. It's brand new. We're able to do bench press. We're able to do curls. You can do some leg extensions and leg curls over here. Um, and we have the barbells down there with the pulley thing you can do biceps, triceps, shoulders, back. You can do all kinds of stuff with this if you get a little creative. Okay, the last and final thing that I'm gonna cover, and it may be what you guys all came here for, was there's a landscaper in my area that got busted. Now here's the deal. Um, New York State, we are lawn care only. That is the only thing we're allowed to do. It's considered essential because for the same reason it is in a lot of states. Because if the grass grows up, it turns into a breeding ground for ticks, which bring Lyme disease, other bacteria, and rodent infestations amongst a million other things. So lawn care is essential. Landscaping is not. You cannot put down mulch, no new plantings. You cannot trim hedges. Um, you can, No like unilock block walls, retaining walls, nothing like that. No hardscapes at all. But even mulch, you can't put down mulch. Well, a guy in my area, I heard, now I'm gonna tell you what I heard and I'm gonna tell you the update I got. Um, he was doing landscaping, one of, uh, one of our bigger malls in my area, and he got like three quarters of the way done, and then supposedly they showed up, they shut him down, gave him a fine, and then fined him $1,000 per man he had on site. He had like nine guys there. Um, so I got an update on that story. Turns out he didn't actually get the fines. So um, I'm guessing he did get busted because it's only three quarters of the way done with new mulch, but um, so I'm guessing he did get busted or, or told to shut it down and, and just to cease what he was doing. Um, but from what I heard, the updates I heard, the fines weren't true. It was, it was a rumor that wasn't true and he didn't end up getting the fine. So whether he did or whether he didn't, um, that just goes to show that they're really not screwing around. They're dead serious on this. So um, just so you know, people in your area, if you guys aren't supposed to be doing any landscaping and you do it, just watch out because people in your area that you might think are your friends will be the ones to turn you in. So if you're not supposed to do it, don't do it. It's not worth it. They're saying that they claim the fines in our area could be a 5,000 minimum and then a thousand per man you have on site. And then I heard another way that New York State is saying 2,000 for the first time, 5,000 fine the second time you get caught. And if you get caught a third time, it's a $10,000 fine up to one year in jail and you automatically lose a business license for 10 years. You cannot apply for another one. So those are the two ways I heard it. I haven't gotten any confirmation on which one is true or if either one of them are true, but either way, is that something you really wanna mess with? So just be mindful, and if they're saying no to any given thing in your area, I highly suggest you don't do it. It's not worth it. This thing, I believe, is gonna pass sooner than later. Um, they just said on the news this morning, they believe it's finally plateaued, and uh, it's downhill from here. Who knows, I don't believe 90% of what I hear. I'm like an engineer. If I can't see it and I can't measure it, it's not real. So who knows what's true and what isn't true. 
Um, I'm going to end with this here. I mentioned before when I put the green touch racks on both my trailers, uh, the only ones I've used so far is the enclosed. I use them all day Monday, all day Tuesday. And Billy, as soon as he saw them, the first thing he said is, where's the buttons? And I mentioned to you guys before, the push button to take each one out like the equipment defenders are. And apparently the green touch were this way. Um, they're not there. It's just one latch. It's spring loaded. You turn it over and then you pull your trimmer out and you let go and it springs back and locks the rest in. I told you I was concerned with that let me tell you after using it all day monday and tuesday and billy and i both being skeptical of it we absolutely love it i love this new style it just it makes it so much easier i contacted green touch and i told him i said listen i wasn't a fan of this new style at first but now that i've used it all day my son and i both love it it's just easier it's faster and my biggest fear was when you turn it over the other ones would fall out a little bit or fall out right on you it doesn't happen they stay right in there my trailers bend at angles different both directions on a few different properties and they still never fell out so um, I love it I love this new system so if any of you guys were concerned about that and I know a lot of you had commented on the videos I made saying I don't like that at all I'm sticking with my old ones trust me you guys heard it from me before in the other videos I said the same thing I'm not a fan of that at all now that I've used it I love it so I'm ending it right here guys um, we'll be back at it soon as soon as this weather clears up we can get back to working but uh, I just wanted to cover those things and uh, um, clear up with why I didn't put up a video. Why I didn't put a video up yesterday and what I've been doing and uh, updates on everything. So uh, hit that subscribe button. I'm not saying it because Billy's not here. And those of you that watch me all the time know what I'm talking about. Hit that subscribe button and we will see you in the next one.